Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about embryonic diapause also called as delayed implantation in mammals. In this particular type of embryonic phenomena that exists in some mammals, the embryo development is halted. It gets arrested temporarily. Basically we see it's at the blastocyst stage where the embryo attains dormancy for some reasons. And what these reasons are will be discussed in the later part of video. Before we try to understand the concept of embryonic diapause, let's see the stages of embryonic development in normal conditions first in order to understand the concept in an organized manner. When there is a mating or copulation between two potential donors of male and female germ cells or we can say gametes, we see in this process the sperm and egg fuse together or we can say sperm and ova fuse together and form zygote. We do not need to go into details here just an overview of stages after that there is a cleavage in zygote which makes through the morula and blastula stage and finally the cell division continues and we get the blastocyst stage and it's this stage blastocyst stage where we will be discussing a lot this is the stage where implantation occurs in uterine wall what i mean to say here is that blastocyst attaches itself to the walls of uterine in order to create a connection between mother and the embryo and then after the mammals have gastrulation stage followed by organogenesis so this is how these stages are driven in sexual reproduction in case of mammals but there are some exceptions in mammals also where the normal embryonic development deviates and we get to know a phenomenon known as embryonic diapause this diapause, this delayed implantation is a process seen in marsupials like in kangaroos. It's also seen in pinnipes, commonly known as seals. In these mammals, everything is same. Every stage, every developmental stage is same. But the exception is only the pause, the timing in stages. It's here at this stage, what we call as blastocyst stage, where the blastocyst stage gets into quiescent state and the blastocyst does not attach itself to uterine walls so the implantation does not occur here as we know implantation is critical to the survival and development of early embryo it establishes a connection between mother and the early embryo which will continue through the remainder of pregnancy so implantation is kind of important thing to drive the further stages of embryonic development but in case of delayed implantation, embryo development is paused or we can say delayed for a while. But it must be noted here that the incomplete embryo remains viable in the uterus and can initiate its development when it receives the reactivation signal. Embryonic diapause has got two types. One is facultative diapause, the other is obligate diapause. Let's discuss the facultative diapause first. In facultative diapause, the lactation is the cue or signal for diapause. So the initiation of facultative diapause is the lactation, the secretion of milk from mammary glands in order to feed the young ones. Basically, the suckling stimulus will cause the embryo to enter into diapause. Like in marsupials, the kangaroo. The jaws needs much care and attention from the kangaroo the female invests all care for Joe and it takes 235 days for a Joe to come out of the pouch. And how this diapause gets initiated in kangaroo is because there are two types of lactation in kangaroos. One high protein milk with low fat content, the other is low protein milk with high fat content. The Joe which is in the pouch drinks high protein milk and it's this Joe which enables the diapause state for the embryo. So, in order to get high survival rate, the kangaroos delay the pregnancy in order to invest all the energy for the already born Joe. That's the Joe which is in the pouch. Then we have the obligate diapause, also known as seasonal diapause. This kind of diapause allows the mammals to time the birth of the offspring for favorable environmental conditions. It occurs in seals. If the mating occurs, the seals can delay the implantation if the gestation ends in winter. So seals pause the implantation in order to elongate the gestation period. They skip the winter and then 
resume the embryonic development again so this is how embryonic diapause or we can say delayed implantation works in some mammals in order to evade the harsh condition in order to have a high survival rate for the upcoming new births i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks